hey guys it's your inner chakras welcome back to the channel guys if you are new you are welcome guys oh geez welcome back guys i'm trying something new this isn't tarot at all this is a book right and i decided today that i'm going to share this book with you it's called faith in the valley by iyana van zant right and i'm pretty sure a lot of you have read it heard about it seen about it when I got my book, it was a gift to me. I got it in 1997, which you can see I've read it plenty of times over and over. I highlight things, I write things, right? It was a gift. However, you can reflect and you can go back to this. <clears throat> so I'm thinking, I'm gonna put this in a, I'm gonna read from this every day, guys. This will be the only first time that I introduce it. Every day after this, I'm just gonna go to the page and then we're gonna get it. But every day, this is for women. It's called Faith in the Valley, Lessons for Women on the Journey to Peace by Iyana Van Zandt. So guys, if you wanna go and buy the book and read along with me, you can. But we're gonna to start today and I'm gonna give you, because all of the women on this page, you are on a journey to peace. And men, if you come across this, I'm pretty sure you can use this as well. But Iyana, she just you know wrote for women, but you know, read for men. All right guys, so we're gonna do this. And it's gonna be one every day. And I'll also set it up to where I'll have it in a, um, like a, um, what do you call that? Like a section by itself called Faith in the Valley Lessons for Women and blah, 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 blah. So, all right, guys. So, the Valley of Light. This is the first valley that we're going in. The Valley of Light teaches us the lessons of stillness through imposition of the state of solitude and silence, which forces us to take a look at ourselves. <clears throat> Let us learn to be still and let the truth speak through us, speak to us, to be still and know that inner light shines, the science of mind. All right, guys, so here's your first one. It says, have mercy, surrender. Life does whatever is necessary to mold us and to shape and prepare us for greatness. <clears throat> it does not always look or feel this way. Instead, what we experience in life seems difficult painful unnecessary just for a moment think of the stones which which were used to build the pyramids and the gems which fashioned the crown jewels imagine how the stones were dug from the quarry and then hammered and chiseled into shape realize that each stone or gem had to be perfectly shaped before it could be set in its appropriate place Recognize that once the pyramids were built and jewels cast into the crown, they have never been disturbed, nor have they shifted, fallen, or crumbled. Somehow life teaches us to understand that God has a perfect plan for us. According to that plan, we must be molded and shaped prior to being cast into our perfect place. When we truly recognize that there is a master plan, we can welcome any tool that comes to prepare us to behold our perfect place when we are shaped and molded by life according to God's perfect plan. The world is amazed and blessed by our beauty and longevity. Get prepared, be prepared, and surrender. All right, guys, this is day one with Faith in the Valley. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace.